It's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. Hey, in this session, I'm going to give you a business lesson. It's actually a critical business lesson. It's how to manage your calendar. What do I mean by manage your calendar? There seems to be this misconception, if you will, about the, the myth, if you will, the myth of a bad month. You see, there's no such thing as a bad month. In actuality, it's a bad two months. There's no such thing as a salesperson having a bad two months. In actuality, that salesperson had two bad months would have four bad months. And there's no such thing as having a bad 90 days or a bad quarter. In reality, if you don't make sales for a quarter, you've had a bad six months. Now, how does this work? No such thing as a bad month, a bad two months. Let's start at the first of a year. You say, I'd like to make 36 sales in a year's time. Let's divide that by 12 months and we come up with a pace of three per month on average. Now, if you're a salesperson and you start the year, if you're a salesperson and you start the year and you say, okay, out the chute, three sales in January. Here's the reality. What if you have zero sales for the month? You could look at it and fool yourself and say, no big deal. I just had a bad month. But the truth is there's no such thing as a bad month. It's a bad two months. How does this work? Month five, it'll work this way. Suppose you're on a five-month build cycle. If you don't have a sale here, and it comes time for a closing and a settlement and a delivery to be made, then you have no cash flow coming in here. In other words, no sale here equals no commission here. So if you're a salesperson, you don't get paid. If you're a builder, there's no cash flow. So you can't buy into the fact that there's a bad month. It's actually a bad two months. Well, what if you have a bad two months? Well, I didn't make any sales in January. I didn't make any sales in February. Did you have a bad two months? No. In reality, you had a bad four months. And you know what? The truth is, this isn't where you feel it. You don't feel it not making a sale. You feel it when there's no cash flow coming in. You feel it when there's no commission that's coming in. What if you're a sales manager and you say this and you go, well, let's just give this person 90 days. Let's see if they can make it in 90 days. If they don't make it, then we'll make the hard choice. Well, you don't actually give somebody 90 days. You're giving them six months. Why? If you don't have any sales here, down here when it's time for closing, you've missed three months of settlements. You can miss literally an entire year if you're not following along in this calendar. Now, here's a philosophy I want you to think about. It's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. What do I mean by keep up versus catch up? It's just, you come over in January and you say, well, I didn't have any sales in January. Zero, zip, zilch, nada. Now you have to do this in February. In order to catch up, what do you have to do? You have to make six sales here. Question, do you think you're going to make six sales in this month? It's going to really be a challenge if you couldn't make three here. So what happens is this. Well, I only made one sale in February. Now you have five sales here, three sales here, and by March you have to make eight sales. Question, do you think you can make eight sales? No, you've wreaked havoc on your entire year. It's easier to keep up than it is to catch up. Casualness causes casualties, as they say. You can never be casual and say, I've had a bad month, because every bad month actually equals two months. Here's a question for you. Manage this calendar. What if you look at me and you say, I'd like to have a huge Christmas. Well, if you want to have a huge Christmas, toys for the children, great, great gifts for your spouse, here's the way it works. November, Dece October, September, August, July, back it up. That means this, if you want cash flow in December, you've got to have a huge month win in May. You can't have a bad month. What if you say, I'd like to pay my taxes? Great thing to do. Well, what happens is this. You have to go over here and you have to say, if I don't make any sales in November or December, I'm not going to have any cash flow in April. You see, there's no such thing as a bad month. It's a bad two months. And the truth of the matter is, you're never going to feel it in the month that you don't do it. You're going to feel, you're going to feel this in the month that there's no cash flow. So remember, it's always easier to keep up than catch up.